Hey, 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 my friends. Happy Monday. I hope you had an excellent weekend. Leandra here, coming to you live to talk about God's promise for us when we are just tired, <laughs> completely wore out. And I know there's a lot of us during this time when we're trying to homeschool and we're trying to handle the household and do all of our things, right? Hey, hey, thanks for the hearts, you guys. Oh, I love it. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Darlene. Hey, Jessica. Good to see you. Thank you, thank you. Um, tell me hi in the comments. Let me know where you're watching from. Feel free to share this video with anyone you know who needs rest. And I know that's that's a lot of us. And so God actually gives us a promise in his word for all of us who feel tired and wore out. And one of the books I'm reading right now is by Joyce Meyer called Do It Afraid. And this is what she says. Jesus said that when we are weary, heavy laden, or overburdened, we should come to him and he will give us rest. Now notice that he did not say, come to me and I will give you a list of things to do. Right? And actually he doesn't give us just rest from work, but he gives us an invitation to learn how to do what we do in faith and rest rather than fear and weariness. So I just want to read Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, which says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden and overburdened, and I will cause you to rest. I will ease and relieve and refresh your soul. Whoo, that's awesome, right? When God himself says, come to me and I will ease, relieve and refresh your soul. And so if you are tired, if you feel worn out, just know that God wants you to live in a state of restfulness and that it is an actual promise from him that when you go to him, he will lighten your load. God will give you the power and the strength you need to serve him. And he is not a hard task master. Jesus leads us to a place that is comfortable, gracious, and pleasant. Serving God can be easy when we learn to hear from him and simply obey rather than struggle to do the things he never asked us to do in the first place. And I just want to give you permission that if you need to take something off your plate, to do it. Right? When we decide that we're going to do something that God never intended or asked us to do, it's really hard to find grace and rest in that. Right? Which leads me to the next thing. Take time to seek God about whether your works are his works. Is he leading you to do them? And if you discover that you are involved in works of the flesh and God has not given you the grace to do them, don't be afraid to lay them down and seek him about his will for your life. And remember, it, is, it will not always be easy, but there will be comfort, grace, and pleasure associated with doing his works. Okay, this is what I love. Hear me. 
Jesus wants to lighten the load you have been carrying all by yourself and give you rest. You don't have to carry the load by yourself. You don't have to do it in your own strength. You can go to him and ask him for rest and wisdom and he will grant it to you. And if you are doing something that that was so weird. My phone went black. Are you guys still on? <laughs> that was so weird. My phone didn't like it. That's probably the enemy because there's probably someone on here right now that needs to hear this. And my phone went black. So he's like, uh, let's make her be quiet. But that ain't working, my friends. No, no, I'm back. All right, so let's end this. I want to offer you a prayer from Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 to pray. Thank you, Jesus, that you will ease and refresh my soul when I am weary and that you will cause me to rest. Thank you that your yoke is not harsh, hard, sharp, or pressing, but it's comfortable, gracious, and pleasant and that your burden is light and it's easy for me to bear. All right, you guys, that's some good promises right there. Remember, God will give you wisdom to do what he asks you to do, and he will give you the grace to do it. You know I love you. That's why I come to you every Monday with a promise of God to meditate on for your week because... When you remember God's promises and don't allow all of those thoughts to run your life, that's when you live in victory. Thank you for the hearts. You guys are the best. All right, I love you. If you want my PDF of God's promises for us, send me a private message and I will send that to you. All right, you guys, I love you. Happy Monday. Take care. Bye.